Welcome to our three minute gestalt. This is unit 23 on suicide. Uh, suicide's a very difficult topic for therapists as well as clients. Um, if you've ever experienced someone suiciding in your life, it's highly traumatic and obviously, you know, a lot of support is needed um, to help people come to terms with that and whether it's historical or recent and we apply all our gestalt processes to that. Um, now, what's kind of more germane is if a client currently may be suicidal and that's a, a big scary thing in the mental health field and often people are you know supposed to be referred to psychiatrists or something for treatment because we're very protective over people's lives sometimes more than they are themselves um, but in the gestalt approach once again you know we, we don't want as much as possible to impose on a person or tell them how they should live or, or die perhaps, but more to explore the existential issues for them. Uh, what does it mean to go more deeply, to do so bracketing as much as possible in terms of really exploring their meaning world and of course their feeling world. Um, but then also as appropriate, bringing ourselves in relationally to you know what this person means for us. And if they were serious about, for instance, their suicidality to talk about what that loss would mean for me. Um, so being willing to be involved in these various ways. Of course, there's standard things that we can do like suicide contracts and, and you know, um, asking important questions about have you got a plan and how would you do it? So th those are the basics of working with suicide in any modality. Uh, what Gestalt brings is a, a lack of judgment, a lack of attempt to, to guide the person even. Um, it's very difficult, of course, because we want to save lives and we don't want people to suicide. Um, but often what we need to do is we need to examine that topic ourselves because in Gestalt, who I am and what I bring is very important. So I need to look at you know, how suicide affects me and the ways that I might panic or perhaps my historical traumatic experiences of someone else suiciding. Uh, so in, in Gestalt, it's very important for the therapist to be aware of their own process, to be aware of what gets stimulated in them, and to be able to, to uh, hold that and also, where appropriate, bring that in therapeutically to create a real, a, a, a genuine dialogical bridge to the person. Um, it, it brings up a lot of you know, intense feelings, of course, the, the client themselves and us as therapists. Um, so it's very important to be able to to breathe through that, to support ourselves, to get support. And then sometimes, of course, very unfortunately, clients may commit suicide. And then that's also a kind of a, a big ex experience for a therapist to work through, to understand, you know, are we responsible? Could we have done something different? Many of the questions that, you know, family members and such ask. Um, so that also needs a kind of, in a way, an anticipation, you know, how do we handle death? How do we handle people's choice over death? What does it mean to us? These are all questions which in, in an existential psychotherapy such as Gestalt, we want to examine, we want to look at death and, and do that before we face issues such as suicide or bereavement. We want to come to terms with what's our relationship with death. Um, so all this is important ground and in terms of able, being able to work with this topic from a Gestalt perspective.